Greetings, my human friends. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. Yesterday's video was kind of bizarre and strange to most of you. You wonder, what does Rudolf intend with making such a strange video? Well, first of all, I like to have a little humor in my videos once in a while, as you know. But the real reason for it was that I try to wake up your half-sleeping mind, which is half-asleep by routine. Routine is a killer of a sharp, of a razor-blade-sharp mind, and it's like becoming dull over time. You repeat your tasks, you see the same videos, you eat the same food, and life just goes on. No, I try in between to wake up your mind by something different, no matter how strange and bizarre it looks like. So this way, all of a sudden, you start to use your faculties again and make judgments, one way or the other. But as long as you judge things and put them in perspective, your mind is working. Never mind the message which is subliminal underlying the video of yesterday anyway. To many of you, my messages will sink in and will have a positive impact on your mental capacity and quality. So much to that. The reason I address you today is the email affair of Hillary Clinton, which has been spoken of so much by so many, that it becomes rather boring. But there is an interesting twist in the affairs which started yesterday. The FBI has opened the investigation again into the email affair because, as they claim, there have been new emails popping up and they would like to look into it again. And this shortly before the election. Why is this so? Well, I'm the first one, of course, like in many cases, it was the same with the hyperinflation which is coming up. All of a sudden everybody in the economical field speaks about. Also today I will give you a revelation which nobody in this light has looked at yet. The reason the FBI is looking once more into the email affair of Hillary Clinton and her staff is to save their own neck. It has less to do with Hillary Clinton than with the upper ranks of the FBI itself. Why? Well, it's very simple. In a few days there will be an election and we all will know, and I hope, and with my help, of course, Donald Trump will be the president, but in a few days the public will be certain who will be the president. And then the FBI has to deal with the one who is in charge. The fear of the FBI director and its staff is that once, in case Donald Trump becomes president, he will have an inquiry into Hillary Clinton's dirty work and also into the email affair again. And that will bring certain truth, certain things which are in the dark right now, and certain handlings of the FBI, of the affair, and the motives behind it into daylight. That is exactly the reason the FBI is opening up the case again and make it look like they are neutral, they're looking into an affair of a person 
which they have been linked as biased to. And this way they try to whitewash their own doings in the past. If people said in the past, well, the FBI works together with the Clinton administration or the, the Clinton clan, better, then uh, the best thing you can do is you prove that that is not true by putting a hard stance and inquiry into the affair again. But friends, let me tell you this. It is too late. The FBI has made a major mistake which will work out very, very badly for them. No matter who becomes the president. Of course, they're trying to whitewash themselves by looking into the email affair again and will dra drag this email affair for the, uh, all the way to the time after the election so then they can decide what to do with it. Once they looked into the email affair before the election, they always can say they are neutral and they try to do their job. When the election is over, then they can decide how to perceive, perceive it, what to do with it. If it is Hillary Clinton who is the president and there is not a lot of resistance from the Republican side, they can play like they did some kind of a harder inquiry and again they didn't find anything particularly out which could involve the state attorney's office. And this uh, whole affair will die out over time. Or in case Donald Trump becomes president and he and his people push harder into this affair and try to put pressure on the FBI, then they always can let Hillary Clinton, who is not the president, fall and hang her by her neck in order to save their own. It's a very smart move on the behalf of, on the side of the FBI, to open up this inquiry right now, to have some kind of a backup in case the wrong man becomes president, the wrong person. But let me tell you this, if Donald Trump becomes president, the time of the upper ranks and the president of the FBI is being running out. And furthermore, the whole agency of the FBI has to be restructured because it's like a rotten apple and it is so much interwoven and connected with political affairs of, of both sides, the Republicans and the Democrats, that if Donald Trump has the guts to dig deep into this mud, then the whole FBI agency as such is in danger to be dissolved. And a new agency has to be placed as a substitute. This danger is clearly seen by the upper ranks of the FBI. And they try to uh, do some damage repair. But I personally believe it's too little and it's too late. They know they have burned their hands by intermingling in political affairs with the Clinton camp. And no matter how you play the tough man and look into the affair again, nobody will believe the FBI that this is a real inquiry and not a some kind of a, uh, safe, a face saving situation which at the end will not help anybody, but just win them a little bit of time for the time after the election. Rudolf of Germany.